Welcome back to the Diecast Museum. Today we are opening up a sealed box of brand new M2 machines. These are yet to be sold in the stores at the time of filming, which is March 13th, 2024. These trucks you are about to see are coming to a Walmart near you very soon. And we are going to get the first look at them here on the channel. Thanks very much to M2 Machines for sending me this box of vehicles to review. And over here, the last wave of vehicles that I bought at Walmart. These were also Walmart exclusives. Another six vehicle set of trucks included all of these Dodge Power Wagon trucks, which I did do a review here on the channel about two months ago. So if you haven't seen that want to check that out after, do look back in my videos and check out the Dodge Power Wagon truck review by M2 Machines. And today it looks like we've got Chevys in here. Chevy square body trucks. I have not dug any deeper than just opening the box. I want to save the excitement with you guys as we open up these brand new trucks that you will be finding at Walmart very soon. Are you guys ready to go in for a look at these trucks? I know I certainly am. I've got the parking lot cleared of Dodges. We're making room for Chevys from this latest Walmart exclusive release. Six vehicles, two full sets coming out right now. Let's start with the top layer. And I'm not sure if these are in sleeves or not. If they are, then I might just pull the whole sleeve of six vehicles out. And that looks to be the case, actually. I'm seeing a sleeve on the outside of this truck which is a square body. Yeah, let's just get the whole sleeves right out and go in for a good look. And we'll take all the vehicles out from there and get them right down on the parking lot. For the full loose review, I will be opening up each and every one of these trucks with you. And we're going to do the roll test. We're going to get them parked down on the pavement and really check out all the details that M2 puts into their models. Let's dive in and get this sleeve of trucks out. I call it a sleeve because it's a shipper sleeve of sorts. Square body syndicate. Yes, sir. These are going to be Chevys, I'm almost sure of it. And there is the very first look of those trucks that you're going to see. The first three, I see a van. I see a van down on the bottom. That is a brand new casting. For me, in my collection, I, I know that M2 released this Chevy van, but I, this is the first time I've seen it myself. I cannot wait to go in for a further, closer look at all these models with you. And let's just get the second box out while we're doing this. And indeed, we have two full sets of these vehicles. Very cool. We're going to see if we can find any differences or any chases. There could be uh, a chase, a super chase. Uh, as you can see at the top, we've got 9,600 pieces. Worldwide distribution, 250 super chases. And I can see on this truck here, 750 chases of this particular truck. So again, those chases are specific to the vehicle I just picked up. Super chase is going to be on this Chevy and the regular chase on this GMC. So we've got Chevys and GMCs in here. Well, let's get everything out of the box and look at them. Going to just pick from one sleeve at a time until we get everything out and just a quick look at them. I want to get a vehicle open as well as one next to the package version. But as you can see, packaging is terrific. And uh, the nice Lexan box. Information on the truck, 1975 Chevrolet Cheyenne Super 10. And the release code on this is WMTS18 24 20, item number 32600 on the barcode. So, those might be helpful if you need to ask your local store whether they're getting them or when they are getting these from M2. Look at this truck. We've got a weathered dually. This is fantastic. I love collecting weathered trucks. And this looks like a really authentic weathering job. Cannot wait to get this one out of the package for a full look at this truck all the way around without any shiny glare or anything like that. But check it out. It's got that lowered suspension for a custom look. Big chrome wheels on it. And weathered dually. Need I say more? amazing these are going to probably be hard to find in your stores i expect that a lot of people are going to have interest 
in this because, wow, check this out. Huge lifted van, also weathered. Check out the weathering on it. We've got it all over the roof, rust and patina all the way around. This 1973 GMC Vanjura 4x4 van, blacked out rims, giant off-road tires, incredible incredible whoa we have a chase here ladies and gentlemen we have a chase i do believe the m2 uh put gold bumpers trim and wheels on their chase vehicles this one has a gold interior as well and this is incredible i've i've so rarely found a chase to actually hold in my hand and do a review with you guys this is incredible. I believe that this case may have been stacked for my presentation, and I certainly am extremely thankful, as it will correct me on some of my presumptions, perhaps, looking at the top of the uh, package on this particular 1977 GMC Sierra Grand 15. You can look out for 750 chase vehicles out of, I suppose, nine, well, 9,250 pieces as well. So I think there might be a total of 10,000, if I'm understanding that correctly. For the van, it had 9,600, 9,600 pieces worldwide. So either way, that's a lot of regulars out there for everyone to get, because the regulars are awesome. And if you are looking to complete your collection with chases, well, there's still a pretty good chance of finding chase with 750 of them out there. You uh, definitely have to pay attention to the details. And the details in the case of an M2 are gold trim. Look at how nice that looks. Very custom. I mean, the truck itself is already very custom. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side of each of these Chase models next to the regulars. Because it does appear that I have regulars of the Chase models just from what I can see. And anyways, let's just keep looking. We've got one more truck in here. And it's another Chase what a beauty now i think that this is a super chase unpainted it's got a glossed unpainted die cast body very polished and uh, clear coated with the livery or decorations on the side of the truck where they would be so this appears to be very similar to this truck here which is a regular version and we've got yeah we've got the same stripes basically that's how i can tell it's the same truck and of course the name of the truck is a dead giveaway that is incredible i've i've never seen so many m2 chases come out of one box at one time not here in this studio let's go ahead and open up the second box this will be the comparison box for regulars and chases and perhaps i'm not sure maybe there is another sixth vehicle in here but here's the regular of that 77 GMC Sierra Grand. Again, I will be opening up all of these vehicles. That's the nice thing about M2 collectibles is you can open up the packaging. And if you want to put it right back in the packaging afterwards, it's so easy to do. You won't know that you even open the package other than perhaps just slicing that clear little sticker on the side to get the cardboard door open and slide the whole thing out because M2 uses screws to hold the trucks to the platforms and there is no ripping and tearing of cardboard, which is fantastic in my opinion. So we've got another one of these trucks. I do believe these are going to be the same, but certainly not the same looking as the Super Chase. And a van, love this van. Can't have enough fans. I've got to get the window version of the van. I know that M2 has already made window versions. Passenger vans, I should say, versus the cargo van. And with regular ride height uh, suspension wheels. Here is the six vehicle I was mentioning that would have to be in here because it's a six vehicle set each time M2 Machines releases one of these Walmart exclusives. And pretty much any of their vehicle sets come in these six pack shippers with one of each vehicle chance of a chase and look at this chevrolet k5 blazer and some really funky graphics on the side 
probably aftermarket. We've got a roll bar in there, removable rooftop. So this truck, you can imagine it riding on the beach. And we've got the square body syndicate design on the back window. So this is an actual customizing shop. And I have no doubt that many of, not all of these trucks are actually small versions of the real deal, perhaps just in this past year. So here we have another dually. Very, very cool collection. Going to go out for a little bit of a look at this because it is impressive. Look at the spread of awesome trucks we have. And more information on Square Body Syndicate has presented itself located in Phoenix, Arizona. And you can check their website out right there, squarebodysyndicate.com. Awesome packaging. In case I didn't spin these around the first time, check out the back of the card art here. Vandemonium square body for that big lifted van. And for the K5 Blazer, it's got matching card art on the back as well with that side livery. One other thing I wanted to mention as we get into this review is price point of these vehicles. I am in Canada, so here in Canada, Walmart sells these for $9.99, and you can find them in the die-cast toy aisle, and these will also be available in the United States, and that'll be a lesser dollar amount because the Canadian dollar is worth less than the American dollar, so I expect that would be probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 7 to $8.00. However, I may be slightly off on that guess for Walmart pricing in the U.S. Again, as I'm a Canadian reviewer, uh, I'm going to start this review with 24-20, the 1975 Chevrolet Cheyenne Super 10. And I'm going to go consecutively in order from 20 to 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 being the final one. And that is going to be your 1974 Chevrolet K5 Blazer. And I will be getting that back roof and those elastics off as well to check out what the interior looks like but first let's check this really nicely decorated truck out now it has an opening hood and you can see there is a detailed engine under the bay nice clear windows again white wall tires actually those may be yellow wall i think that's a very thin yellow line tire and uh very stock looking truck other than the ride height Nice chrome bumpers, and of course a super detailed interior. Let's see if we can just zoom in a little bit on that interior, because I'm always so impressed at all of the details M2 captures, including the column shift and dashboard details, the consoles. This one has two separate seats. Many of these trucks are going to feature a bench seat, as which was usually available for the truck at the time when they were sold back in the 1970s. So this probably has an aftermarket interior. Very cool truck. And now we're looking at number 24-21, the 1977 GMC Sierra Grand. And this one has a wood grain finish on the side of that beautiful metallic orange paint. Very deep looking paint job. You can almost see yourself in the shine on this truck. And again, all of these Chevy square body trucks have opening hoods. This one seems to open a bit higher. And I just didn't want to force the other one. I hate forcing anything, especially when doing a video review. That's the last thing I want to do because uh, the vehicles look beautiful just as they are. And the opening parts really are icing on the cake, if you will. An added bonus or treat for me especially. I really enjoy that. And M2 has done a great job at making castings that have those functional parts to really showcase the other custom details that you will find on the actual models in real life. So here we have a very stock looking 1978 GMC Sierra Grand 15. This is 24-22. This truck does have a lowered suspension. Opening hood. That looks to be a very original looking engine based on the air cleaner. And uh, nice steely wheels with white wall tires. And there you have a bench seat, as I was mentioning, on that blue interior. And commercial grade painted bumpers, which is what you would often find on the base model or uh, trucks that people would buy for work-related use. 
And indeed, this truck probably had a bit of work-related use, although not much, since it was saved with a lovely patina, 1977 Chevrolet Cheyenne Super 30. And this is, again, 24-23. Got a bench seat, so it's got an interior that's quite original. It's got the heavy-duty push bar on the front bumper. Chevy emblem on the grill. Interestingly, this last truck we looked at had the emblem removed for whatever reason. Some of them have Chevy. I think we've got a GMC in here somewhere. Anyways, really cool truck. Let's get that focus back and check out those big tires. Chrome wheels. And uh, just the patina looks so real, so realistic. That has got to be one of my favorite models out of the bunch. However, this van. I love the big old vans, and it is awesome that M2 has made this casting of an iconic 1973 GMC Van Gira 4x4. A patinaed older van. These vans often have the roof completely missing paint. Uh, over the years as they sit in the sun and the rain. And uh, just a really, really cool look. I love these big off-road tires on the custom wheels. And as you will see when we get these off their base, very detailed suspension and drivetrain as well, showing the drive axles and drive shafts. This one, you can see the leaf springs. And this is the 74 Chevrolet K5 Blazer. Once again, opening hood on this model, as well as that removable roof. It's a little stiff, so I'm going to be careful. And just going, using only one hand, this is as far as I'm going to risk it. But I do know from my many other K5 Blazer models that I've collected over the years, that does have a fully opening hood. I'm going to go ahead and cut these bands, and let's take a look at that interior. And there we go, roof off. Sun in your face, wind in your hair. Check this truck out now. Very ready for the beach. And also ready to come off of its base as we review all these trucks. On the parking pad without any base, just a nice roll test. As well as opening up three chase trucks from M2 Machines. And now it's time for that loose review. Nice rolling trucks. I think this one may have a sticky tire, but it's got the big slicks on the back and they are turning. Just a little bit of friction there. Otherwise, all these trucks have been rolling great. Straight, true wheels and tires on them. And again, this one's got the dualies. It does roll. Just a little bit of extra friction there. The lower suspension and those big tires. Of course, these big off-road tires are fantastic. And I love the details on the sidewalls and the tread patterns. And we've got the K5 Blazer. It's a roller too. So all the trucks are rollers that we've established. Now we're going to do a side-by-side -side with the Chase version. This is a lot easier to hold the truck next to the regular version, and we can look at it that way. And I will slide these out of the package, which does mean I've got to cut that plastic sticker that uh, does prevent the package from just being opened up easily. And if you don't want to bend your cardboard while doing it, you can open it this way. And just like that, Chase revealed. Wow. That is beautiful. Let's go in for a bit of zoomage here. Capture all the details. There we go. Okay, and now regular next to Chase. Let's see, gold replacing chrome. And even a gold interior replacing the black interior. And a gold chassis, I do believe it has a gold chassis that I can see versus the standard black painted chassis. Let's go ahead and get another chase truck opened up. This one being 
the 78 GMC or the side by side. Now, if you are using a hobby knife like this, do be careful. They can be quite sharp. And these trucks need no further decoration. Nice white walls with those gold rims. I believe the rims, yes, they are different from the standard rims on this particular vehicle. We went from steely wheels to some very custom looking wheels. Gold interior replacing the blue. And of course, gold chrome. Everywhere else, even around the windshield has gold chrome and the side vent windows. The attention to detail, bar none. And yes, it has a gold base as well hiding under there. Finally, oh my goodness, I can't believe I've got to do this, but I do have to do this because I want to see it loose, maybe just as much as you do. And we are going to release the Super Chase version of the 75 Chevrolet Cheyenne Super 10. Being very careful not to distort the packaging here. Don't have to try too hard with this technique. As you can see, everything's coming out quite nicely. And there we have it. Wow, check out the polish on this brushed die cast chassis and body. Well, body really, the chassis is gold. And let's do a side by side. Where is the regular? We've got a regular version here. Black base versus the gold. It's got the same wheels by the looks of it. And same tires. Obviously the gold interior replacing the tan interior. Did we check the engines on these? Are they gold too? Let's be very careful. Standard engine. Well, this has been a phenomenal treat for me to be able to share with you guys my excitement in opening up and reviewing a yet-to-be-released-to-market product from M2 Machines, of which I am extremely happy to collect and review. And just awesome trucks of great selection once again. Square Body Syndicate. This is the second time I believe we've seen the Square Body Syndicate series. And it's so nice to see all of the latest custom trucks featured here in 164 scale for our collecting purposes and viewing enjoyment. And uh, they just look great all stacked up here, especially with those Chase and Super Chase versions of the trucks. A real nice feature to be able to put those side by side with the regulars. I hope you enjoyed this review just as much as I did making it for you. And of course, happy hunting. Get out there and find yourself some square bodies.